Hello everyone, Andrew here. It's Friday. Well, it's gonna be a Friday before my vacation. Away from the guy, everyone. But I'll be watching YouTube uh, via the Wii. But, um, but I'll be gone. But today's top five is gonna be uh, the top five other Disney villains. This was actually inspired by Electric Dragon 505. Go check out his channel if you want. I'll be placing a link to it down below. So, what's classified as an other Disney film? Well, it has to be like in a direct video sequel, a direct video movie, it could be a theme park ride, video game, or comic. You know, it works. So, uh, let's get to word number five. Number five is Dr. Draken and Shigo from Kim Possible. Yes, I'm including TV shows in this list as well. And, uh, why do these guys start number five? Well, let's face it. Draken is evil. Shigo's just, uh, well, equally evil. Probably, uh, trust me, I, I don't want to. Man, but... It's kind of, but for some reason, these villains know how to make me feel intimidated when I watch Kim Possible. And yes, you can laugh at me. I don't mind. Besides, I live with my mom and sisters, for crying out loud. Holy crap. I'll explain more about my past on a later day. Number four! Number four is Magic and Dispel from Duck Dance. woo -hoo! Okay, I know I barely watch DuckTales, but when I do, sometimes I run into Magic of the Spell in this series, and when I see her, she's just, oh my gosh, like, I, I'm not sure what to say. And for some reason, she drives me bonkers, <laughs> lol, can't help myself there. But her magic is strange, and heck, the original voice actress for Magic of the Spell appeared in the DuckTales remake. So if you haven't played it yet, check it out. I know I haven't played it yet because I don't have a Wii U. Screw my life. Anyway, let's continue. Number three! Yeah. Number three on my list is the Shadow Blot from Epic Mickey on the Wii. So, uh, what can I say about the Shadow Blot? Well, he's big, he's scary. Heck, he even turned Oswald's girlfriend into stone. If that isn't scary, I don't know what is. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of hard to figure out. Help me. Oh, stupid hair. I think I need a haircut, guys. What do you think? Number two! Number two is Xehanort from Kingdom Hearts. I know, I know, I know, I know he's supposed to be like a Square Enix original character for Kingdom Hearts. But he's really intimidating. With a scruff voice and plan to take over Kingdom Hearts. It's, for some reason, I find it strange that he wants to separate his heart to 13 people while he becomes the true leader of the game. Like, he's the king in the game of chess. If I had a king bar, a piece, for ch king chess piece, I would, uh, like, do that. Like, I had a pawn right here. Then, well, first the pawn will be up here, then king it, and, you know. But, before I give out number one, I gotta give out two honorable mentions. The first one will be from, well, Pete. So, why Pete? If there's anything we should not forget, and that's Pete. He's sometimes a hero, he's sometimes a villain, but most of the time he's a villain. Heck, he's the oldest Disney character ever! And I would like to thank Animat for pointing that out when he did his top five other Disney villains. Well, top ten, actually. But everything seems to be fine with that. <laughs> and the other one I mentioned it goes to Oogie Boogie. Sure, it, the, it was in theaters, but most people are beginning to forget about Oogie Boogie a bit. So, uh, so, uh, when Halloween 
comes around, make sure you watch uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, will ya? Alright then. But what's number one? Could it be the MCP from Tron? He looked badly animated. Heck, he could even they couldn't even try to update him in Kingdom Hearts 2. Could it be Rensler from Tron Legacy? It's Tron! Think about it! Could it be Evil Emperor Zerg? Nah. No. Number one goes to... Well, I have to agree with Animat on this one. Constance Hatchway from the Haunted Mansion ride. You know, the ghostly bride that's up in the attic. Whew. She just gives me the heebie-jeebies when I watch, like, ride videos and I see her there. And what she said, though, is extra creepy. I do, I do, I did. That's the sign that you're almost... <laughs> dead. <laughs> she just gives me the heebie-jeebies. But anyway, I think it's time for me to take my vacation. <laughs> and my dog is almost laying on me. <laughs> so until again, guys, make sure you sub subscribe to me. Check out these fine videos right beside me. Probably some animat videos there. So, uh, till then, I'll see you guys around.